The Life and Sad Ending of George Goebel George Goebel was born George Leslie Goebel in Chicago, Illinois, May 20th, 1919. His father, Herman Goebel, who was then working as a butcher and grocer, had immigrated to the United States in the 1890s with his parents from the Austrian Empire. His mother, Lillian Goebel, was a native of Illinois. Following his graduation from Theodore Roosevelt High School in Chicago, 1937, Goebel initially pursued an entertainment career as a country music singer, performing on the National Barn Dance on WLS Radio and later on KMOX in St. Louis. In 1942, Goebel married his high school sweetheart, Alice Rose Humecki. During World War II, he enlisted in the United States Army Air Force and was served as a flight instructor in AT-9 aircraft at Altus, Oklahoma, and later in B-26 Marauder Bombers at Frederick, Oklahoma. He resumed his career as an entertainer after the war, although he decided to focus pro predominantly on comedy rather than just singing. Goebel debuted his comedy series on NBC on October 2, 1954, The George Goebel Show. It showcased his quiet, homespun style of humor, a low-key alternative to what audiences had seen on Milton Berle's shows. A huge success, the popular series made the crew cut Goebel one of the biggest comedy stars of the 1950s. The weekly show featured vocalist Peggy King and actress Jeff Donnell semi-regularly, as well as numerous guest artists, including such stars as Jimmy Stewart, Henry Fonda, Fred McMurray, Kirk Douglas, and Tennessee Ernie Ford. In 1955, Goebel won an Emmy Award for Most Outstanding New Personality. In October 24, 1954, Goebel did a 12-minute spot on Light's Diamond Jubilee, a two-hour TV special broadcast on all four U.S. television networks of the time. Goebel and his business manager, David P. O'Malley, formed a production company, Gomelco, a composite of their last names, Goebel and O'Malley. This company also produced the first four years, 1957 through 61, of the 1957 through 63 television series, Leave It to Beaver. The centerpiece of Goebel's comedy show was his monologue about his supposed past situations and experiences, with stories and sketches allegedly about his real-life wife, Alice, played by actress Jeff Donnell. Goebel's hesitant, almost shy delivery and penchant for tangled digressions were the chief sources of comedy, more important than the actual content of the stories. With a career in films, when ratings soared on the George Goebel show, rated in the top 10 in 1954 and 55, Paramount promoted Goebel as their new comedy star, casting him in the lead in The Birds and the Bees, 1956, a remake of The Lady Eve, 1941, featuring David Niven playing a third-billed supporting role under Goebel and leading Lady Mitzi Gaynor. However, Goebel's TV success did not translate to the big screen. The film performed so poorly at the box office that release was delayed on his second moving, I Married a Woman, filmed in 1956 by RKO Radio, but not released until 1958. Although scripted by Goodman Ace, it also resulted in disappointing ticket sales, and Goebel's career as a Paramount movie star came to an abrupt end. From 1958 to 1961, Goebel appeared in Las Vegas at the El Rancho Vegas and in Reno at the Mapes Hotel. In 1961, George Goebel and Sam Levine starred as Irwin and Patsy in Let It Ride, an original Broadway musical based on the 1935 original Broadway play Three Men on a Horse co-authored by George Abbott and John Cecil Holm, which had an initial Broadway run of 835 performances, also starring Sam Levine as Patsy. George Goebel was also a skilled guitar player, and as such was issued a specially designed electric guitar in his name, commissioned by the Gibson Guitar Company in 1959, the George Goebel model. Next, Goebel was a guest on various TV programs, including The Red Skelton Show, The Dean Martin Show, The Ford Show, 
starring Tennessee Ernie Ford, The Bing Crosby Show, The Dinah Shore Show, Death Valley Days, Wagon Train, The Carol Burnett Show, and Johnny Carson's The Tonight Show. An episode of My Three Sons starring Fred McMurray in December 1960 was titled Lonesome George, in which Goebel played himself in the episode. He appeared on F Troop as Henry Turkle in the 1966 episode Go for Broke. In the 70s, Goebel was a regular panelist on the television game show Hollywood Squares, hosted by Peter Marshall. He was also the voice of Father Moose in the 1974 Christmas special, Twas the Night Before Christmas, and sang the song Give Your Heart a Try in that production. He also made a guest appearance on Hee Haw in 1976. In the early 80s, Goebel played Otis Harper Jr., the mayor of Harper Valley, in the television series based on the film Harper Valley PTA. Sadly, George Goebel died in 1991, shortly after undergoing heart surgery. He was 71 years old. He was survived by his wife Alice and their three children, daughters Georgia Bryan of Palos Verdes and Leslie McIntosh of Palmdale, and son Greg Goebel of Palm Desert, as well as three grandchildren. He's interred in the San Fernando Mission Cemetery in Mission Hills, Los Angeles, California.